Well, hello guys, I am Dennis first and this is my first video in English. I don't know why I decided to do this, but here we go. This is my hybrid Stamina Dragon Knight uh, PvP build for Ascend Ascending Ties DLC. As you know, a lot of things are changed ab uh, about the combat system and whatsoever, the hybrid system. I don't think it was a necessary or a good change, but here we are. So we need to adapt and this is how I adapted. This is actually my build that I previously used, but it's uh, it's already good. There is nothing, nothing for me to change. Bloodspawn uh, is the master set we are using. It's just best for the dra Dragon Knights in my opinion, because uh, the more ult you have, you know, like I'm not gonna talk about the obvious stuff, like this game is uh, around like six, uh, eight years or so, you should know by now most of the basic stuff but since i we gain ultimate we gain a lot of sustain uh, and blood spawn is uh, is the best choice in my opinion actually before i uh, look at the items i would like to say i am a north and this is our, my attributes and this is your unbuffed stats let me show you the unbuffed stats of the back bar i mean yeah this is the front bar right yeah no back bar back bar stats and front bar stats like Start wise, if you know what you're looking at, you should uh, see and understand these stats are almost perfect. The every stat is almost perfect. Uh, this is why one of the reasons the Dragon Knight is the meta right now. The Serpent Boon is the most efficient boon, that's why we're using it. Maybe Chugger Sickles, like everybody is gonna use it, I guess, in this page because of the hybrid stuff. And we are Vampire for Undead Passive, Undead Passive, right? So uh, two items like heavy, two heavy. I love, no, I had, I have one, uh, two heavy, uh, and five medium. Blood spawn is my master set. One trainee chest piece is reinforced, and all big pieces have tri stats. And um, I should have three impan and four well fitted, and one, uh, or three impan, three well fitted, and one reinforced chest. It should be like that. And all other pieces, of course, are maximum stamina so in front bar we are using wrecked vitality uh, i'm using a 100 mole a 200 mole uh, with sharpened and i take this with 200 and like one here like two uh, uh, jewelry it doesn't matter how you pick it just in your front bar it should be wrecked vitality and on your back bar sword and shield it should be uh, sword and uh, dead trick reset it doesn't matter how you take it because both of the sets are craftable sets so just go around and do whatever you like if you have the jewelry of wrecked vitality put wrecked vitality at your jewelry but it doesn't matter just front uh, just you know you you in front bar you have wrecked vitality on back bar you have sword and shield the uh, trickery it should be sturdy and uh, defending and we have of course the marker ring of majesty this is a mythic item if you don't have this item you will lose a lot but you can use uh, here like if you have from previous patches you can use the malakats ring of this just malakat ring i don't know the full name of it it's uh, decent but marquee is way more better in my opinion so yeah this is this should be it and we have one train as i mentioned actually i will uh, link in the, i will put a link in the description you can see the written version of this build in my website along with all other builds from the ESO like pvp or pve uh, it's the website is in Turkish, but you know the it's it's the basic. You when you look, you can obviously understand the build page. Don't worry about it. There is no Turkish words actually because the game is in English, so we don't have Turkish words for the stuffs like enchantments or whatever. So you will understand if you look at the written guide. And uh, let's go to the skills. As I mentioned, I'm not going to talk about everything. This game is around for so long, but this is our main spammable skill and gives major breach. This is our Executioner 200 and this is our Molten Whip which is the hardest hitting skill right now in the game actually. It hits harder than the ultimates, you know. And we have Rally, the OPS skill in the game. This is why 200 skill line is the best one for years now, really. And it's for sustain and major brutality as you know. And Flames of Oblivion, you can use the other morph of it which, which gives you healing. Uh, it's not necessary actually, you have lots of healing, uh, but you can use this one as well. And we have the take flight. I'm most of the time using take flight, but you will see at the back bar, we're gonna talk about it. Most of the time you wanna use take flight because of your sustain and it deals a lot. 
and also you know if you don't know uh, even if they are in cc cooldown like if you stun them if you use leap they're gonna get stun like one second one second or so it's kind of a bug or i don't know whatever but leap always uh, locks you down for one second even if you are in stun uh, cooldown so it's it's buggy when you lose you, when you use leap you can also use executioner at the same time and stun at the same time so yeah just know that this is the main changing uh, thing that i changed in this build actually uh, burning embers i was using the other morph of it but here we go this heals a lot for free heals a lot for free this means a lot <laughs> this this sentence means a lot heals a lot for free don't take <laughs> just remember this words okay and uh, this is the main change with the uh, actual hybrid meta and this is the other one because it will heal you a lot and it will deal damage a lot because it can now proc on your weapon damage as you know uh, and there you go you don't need immobilization because the other from other mode you have also immobilization po poisons here uh, yeah it's not the same thing but it, it it works it's just the better morph and heals you a lot like 7k a lot hp without unbuffed and shuffle it's shuffle you need to use this or you're gonna die uh, our main heal vigor you know our volatile armor you know it's our major uh, major defense buff and we are using corrosive actually you can use uh, spell wall heal it, i would like to use spell wall in open world pvp it's the best ultimate in my opinion you can use for defensive and offensive it allows you to go offensive where you are broken but in, uh, in if you are dueling in a, against a tough player like sometimes you need to use corrosive to kill them because they are so tanky so that's why i keep corrosive on my back bar when i usually uh, you use tech flight but inside that sometimes you come across with one versus one duels right so you need to use corrosive against against some people so that's why i put it here it costs a lot but definitely worth the ultimate but in my opinion, in my dream world, I would like to use spell wall all the time and uh, use take flight for offensive uh, combos. But yeah, that's what I say to you. Uh, green tree, as you know, doesn't matter. I have deadly aim, iron clad, master at arms, and untamed aggression. And you, you should know by now the other things are all filled up. Yeah, untamed aggression can be changed here, but I picked this one because uh, weapon damage or spell damage, whatever, also gives you. A lot of healing power you know uh, it's the most efficient cp in my opinion celerity is the thing that you need to use in uh, open world pvp like if you are like me when we xing or you like the one vx you should know, use celerity but it doesn't give anything beneficial in one versus one deals so just keep it in mind you can change this one if you're not liking it you can put uh, like whatever you like about vitality or fortified one of the two but i use celerity in open world pvp Pain's Refuge is the best because we don't have a natural way of cleansing our debuffs so it just gives free uh, free overall tankness to us. Sustain Bar Sephiric is the most efficient CPs that you can use, it's, it's a lot and there is no reason to not use it. And Juggernaut, uh, it, yeah, it's the same reason, it, it's just free and it just gives so much resistances. And you should, give, uh, you should put the other remaining like so, you should know by now, <laughs> yeah and the thing that i didn't mention that i remember right now is that i'm using to three stat poison po potions to are sustained i will show with the uh, buffed stats so when we put when we light attack and use my rally we will have like five and five k weapon damage and you should rock your molten whip to this third time like never use it unless it's third you should use it on the third uh, stack don't try to spam it so you should heavy attack whip and execute this is your best combo you, when you have attack you know you will get this passive follow up and you will hit so hard that you're gonna die instantly like you attack a molten whip 18k without quick but this dummy does dummy i'm hitting a dummy so it doesn't make any sense but this is this should be your combo and after that you should use your leap as i mentioned it will bag your bug your opponent and they're not going to be able to move and you can immediately use execution after the leap 
and you will like hit 30k burst to someone that is not blocking of course yeah it should be your combo and burning embers just gives you a lot of free healing since i have full hp here it doesn't show the healing but it gives you trust me and shattering grass i cannot use it on this dummy but it also heals you a lot and let me show you the stat this is our front bar stats and this is our back bar stats and blood spawn is not proking when blood spawn procs it gives like we have 32 or 32k or something like resistances is really a lot and we have over 5k heavy uh, damage and 7k penetration but we also apply major breach so there you go and also we have corrosive as you know so in this build there is actually a no chance for you to lose ever one versus one if you are not making huge mistakes mistakes and if you're not dueling against magical dragon knights <laughs> they are in a pain in the ass but i can still tell win most of the duels against magical dragon knights but if there is a magical dragon knight that he knows what he's doing he should be killing you in any case so that's it for me i hope this video helps you in any way if it does please leave a like and uh, comment below so i can make more videos in english maybe this is just for uh, for an experiment for me and we will see <laughs> okay bye <laughs>